Okay. So before I start, let me just <laughs> let me just show y'all real quick. <laughs> oh my God, he's so sexy. What's good y'all, it's your boy Fee keeping a G and we are back with another Legends video. Now it's not gonna be nothing special, I just wanted to discuss a few things and like, you know, just like a little, you know, just a little like informative video, discussion video, you could call it that. But as you can see, we are going to be having a new banner soon, so let me go on to the summons page right now. We have 9 hours left on this banner, which really doesn't matter because, you know, it just came in out the wazoo. And then... On the Legends Rising banner, we have all we also have nine hours. So that means today is the last day to get either Gogeta Janimba or shoot, who else? I think Fisku's on this banner. Uh Paikohan, no one cares about. Super Vegeta, he's good too. Yeah. This is your you have nine hours to get those characters. But Fisku Super I don't know, like well, I don't know why they're on the same banner. Anyways, what I'm going to be talking about is who I suspect the next character to be, which it's a big talk. Everyone like kind of knows what's gonna come at next, and I kind of I kind of know too. I don't like no no, but like I can kind of guess if they're going the route that they're going because we have Boo, which is the newly dropped Boo Go Tanks Deborah. You know everyone knows that. So who will be the most obvious choice? And the answer with that would be Majin Vegeta. Now Majin Vegeta, he's been like you know the most talked about character ever since like. Even before Ultra Space Time 6 drop, because that's what we're all been waiting for. I mean, this drop was, this banner was nice and cool and all that stuff, but it's, eh, you know, it's, it's okay. So, in this video, I'm going to be, you know, just using, I'm going to be summoning on this one with my tickets, and then just be talking about Majin Vegeta, who I think is going to be coming up. Well, I just said it, so, yeah. Okay, so Majin Vegeta. I believe Majin Vegeta, not only Majin Vegeta will he come, also Super Saiyan 2 Goku. And this is gonna like be the start of like the real Buu Saga, like where it really matters. The characters that we all want. Now I've written down some like, you know, what I think is going to what I think is going to be given when it comes to Majin Vegeta, and I have like a whole bunch of other characters I've been like guessing too. Because I kinda wanted to like start making a video of like character concepts, as I might say. Of like what I think the character's color is gonna be, what I think the ultimate skill, special move, you know, etc. Tags, etc. Stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm to this like you know I'm gonna just do like six six singles. I don't even care. They're tickets, so I can get them easily. So to start things off, I have a strong feeling that Majin Vegeta. I strongly think he's going to be a blue melee type, and the reason for that is because. Well, first of all, we rarely have any, like, we we don't have any good, we don't have any blue Vegetas, like, at all. I think it's, we have red, two reds, the EX red, uh, Sparking red, we have yellow Super Vegeta, uh, we have the purple Scouter Vegeta, who else? We have a green EX Vegeta, and we don't have, like, any, I think we have a blue Vegeta, but it's a hero unit, so, you know, no one uses hero units. Okay, we got Sparking Kid. I mean, not Sparking. I'm stupid. Uh, Hero Kid Gohan doesn't matter. And the reason why I say that is because we don't really have a lot of melee type Vegeta's. And but the thing is, I believe he's going to bring a Strike card and a Blast card. And the reason why I said blue is because I don't know. Cause like sometimes I have a hunch that like the way Bandai does it when it comes to coloring and stuff like that, it might I might be like way off like out of my head talking to my ass but I feel like he's gonna be blue because Boo's green and in the TV show Boo smacked like Boo beat Vegeta's ass so it would just only make sense you know for him to be the for Boo to be the counter of Vegeta but I feel like uh, Vegeta's not gonna be trash at all so I'm not worried and the reason why I say that is because um who's an example I can use hmm I have one in my head but I just I really forgot it 
But anyways, onto the his concept. I feel like his tags would be Super Saiyan 2, which would be the second Super Saiyan 2 ever in this whole game. First one being Super Saiyan Gohan. And Vegeta family, of course, and he's also going to be a Saiyan, so that's really obvious. And I was going to add Majin, but you know that they don't have... When Boo dropped and the board dropped, they didn't have no Majin tag, so that's obvious that that's not going to be a, a tag at all. Of course, I believe he's going to have an Ultimate Arts card because he's going to be like the big thing out of the whole banner. And the Ultimate Arts card will be Final Explosion, you know, pull that, you know, get a Final Explosion, he's going to kill himself, obviously, because it's a self-sacrifice move, just like 16, um, Chiatsu, stuff like that. But the thing with Vegeta's Ultimate Attack, just like how Gogeta has his, as a, you know, he gets health back while he, uh, activates his Judgment, I think that's what it's called. He gets, uh, 20% health regen and then he gets that judgment card so i believe that vegeta is gonna pull the final explosion and then he is going to also this is my this is my uh, opinion i feel like he's gonna have you know some sort of skill who boosts his allies on the team because it would make no sense for him to get a buff or like anything of that sort of the matter because he's gonna be dead so it will be wise to like you know something like shallots where like you give them you give your allies a strike boost and a blast boost. So it makes sense like that. Either that or defense or something of the sort. But I feel like that's how it's going to go. And for his special move, I truly believe it's going to be Atomic Blast. And if you don't know what that is, then you can... If you play Xenoverse 2 or if you play... I was about to say Fighters, but it's not Fighters. But Budokai Tenkaichi 3. It's the move where like he has one hand out and it's not a beam. Because he doesn't do Big Bang attack. I was like... As I was making these lists of like, you know, of all the information, I had to do a lot of research because, you know, to back myself up. And he never did Big Bang. He never did Final Flash. It was always the Atomic Blast. And then it was the Final Explosion. And majority of the fights, he was like, ill. when it was Super Saiyan 2 Goku versus Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, it was like mostly fist fights. That's, that's another reason why I think he's going to be a um, melee type. But I think his, his special move is going to be Atomic Blast. When it comes to, um, you know, comments and all that stuff, I'm not going to really dig deep into that because, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. But if you really pay close attention to my thumbnail, I also have, like, you know, a faded out picture of Great Saiyan Man because you never know. I honestly feel like if they were to add, throw somebody else in the mix instead of Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 2 Goku, 2 Goku to save him in the, um, you know, Ultra Space Time 7, because it could be those two and then Ultimate Gohan, you know, something like that. I feel like they'll, they're going to troll us because we have no information yet. They might post something later in the news section. But as of now, we don't have any information at all to like what's going to be coming. We don't have nothing on Twitter that can tell us and nothing like of the sort. So that's why I believe it's going to be something like Videl and um, Great Say Man. Because that's like pre, pre-tournament. And like we still, the new banner, we still got uh, Kid Cell. Is, it, is that what it's called? Okay, hold up, let me see. Because I don't want to, you know. Cell Jr., that's what it's called. I don't know why I forgot that. But we got we got Cell Jr., and then we had uh, Youth Gohan when he was in the Hyperbolic Time Chamber with the Battle Armor. And then we had Super Saiyan Goku in the Type Rock Time Chamber. So it would only make sense for Bandai to drop World Tournament characters before we get Majin Vegeta. Because that's how it was in the show, unless they just drop it after and make that universe... Uh, Ultra Space Time Summon 7. So, I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Um, I'm going to end the video here because, you know, I ran out of summons and I ain't going to waste no crystals because whatever comes tomorrow or the day after, I think it's going to be... It's, it might be Tuesday because that's when they usually have their... Well, I don't know. Because it ends today, so it might be tomorrow. But you never know. We didn't have, like, no maintenance news or nothing like that. So, it might be Tuesday. That's when they usually have their, like, weekly updates. So... On that note, I'm going to end the video here. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think is going to like uh, come up next. What you guys think Majin Vegeta will turn out to be. If you think it's not even going to be Majin Vegeta at all. It might be somebody like totally new. And people are saying, I was looking around like on the social media. People were saying Vegeta, but that's way too soon for him to come. And a lot of people were saying they might not even go like the path of Dragon Ball Z. It might be Dragon Ball, like Kid Goku or Master Shin or even GT. If it's GT, I'm going to be really happy because I really want Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I don't care about no one else. I mean, I care about Gogeta too, but I just I just want a GT character because 
how can we have pan but like you know what I'm saying so that's gonna be all for me uh, it's been Groovy Fee signing out I love you all peace I like, I like.